Welcome to the channel, you're Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for <sighs> addicts, alcoholics, people that are struggling with drugs, people that have given decades to these habits and substances people that have wasted their lives and their money and their minds and their health, their person on these habits. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, Lord my God, to release your power in the name of Jesus, your spirit on the lives of the ones that are listening to this, my God. My God, my dear God, we turn to the book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 16. Very reminiscent of what happens to an addict, what we're going to read here, but this is consequential to Job losing his wife his children to death, his wife told him to damn God and die, she left, the children were killed in a domestic accident. Verse 16, and now my life seeps away, depression haunts my days, at night my bones are filled with pain which gnaws at me relentlessly. With a strong hand, God grabs my shirt. He grips me by the collar of my coat and he has thrown me into the mud. I am nothing more than dust and ashes. Sounds very much like the life of the addict. The alcoholic. <clears throat> their life seeps away. They waste their life and they're wasting it now. Tell me an addict or alcoholic or a medication person that does not suffer from depression and is not haunted by depression. Many of these weed smokers and drinkers and medication people will say, leave my depression alone. Don't interfere with my depression. I'll look after it. It's mine. It's mine. It's not your depression. It's something that can come by way of life circumstances, by the way in which we treat ourselves. It can come by unfortunateness, but it's not yours, it's something that you have. I would never own depression as much as I'd never want to own a rattlesnake. And for the addict and the alcoholic at night, their bones are filled with pain. I know many of these people that have osteoarthritis and all these nervous system and degenerative problems in their bodies and they gnaw at them relentlessly they're constantly complaining they're constantly trying to find medications to ease the pain and the devil has them by the collar of their coat not God it's the devil that grabs them by the shirt that grips them by the collar He has thrown them into the mud and makes them nothing more than dust and ashes. God gets the blame for too much. People despise God. How foolish is that? The fool in his heart says there is no God. I wouldn't recommend that. 
But this is what happens when you're on drugs. Alcohol, weed, medications. Whether you want to accept it or not. Your life seeps away and it's seeping away now. Depression haunts your days. Your bones are filled with pain and gnaw at you relentlessly. Tell me this ain't true. The devil grabs you by the shirt and your spirit and your emotions. The devil grips you by the collar of your coat and drags you where he wants you to go and throws you into the mud of this world and makes you nothing more than just dust and ashes. But believe me, you're a whole lot more than that. You cry to God. You cry to God. But he does not answer. You stand before God. But he doesn't even look. See, your God is the devil. He ain't going to answer you. He ain't even going to look at you. He's going to be cruel to you. He's going to use his power to persecute you. He's going to throw you into the whirlwinds of life and destroy you in the storms of life. And he is going to send you to your death before your time, which is the destination of all of us. It's just a matter of where you want to spend it. Job says, surely no one would turn against the needy when they cry for help in their trouble. Well, this is what's happening to the addicts now. They're turning and crying for help. Do I not weep for those in trouble? That's compassion. Was I not deeply grieved for the needy? So I looked for good. But evil came instead. This is what happens to the addicts and the alcoholics. I waited for light, but darkness fell. Many of you people have had the opportunity to come into the light. You were in it and you walked away from it. That was your choice. My heart is troubled and restless, the addict and the alcoholic. Days of suffering torment me. Am I wrong or right? I'm speaking to somebody right now. Many of you are going to be watching this and going, my God, how can the Bible be so true? You walk in gloom without sunlight. You stand in the public square and cry for help, but nobody listens. Instead, you're considered a brother to a jackal and a companion to owls. Your skin turns dark and your bones burn with fever. Your harp plays sound music and your flute accompanies those who weep. Viewers, this is the way life ends for addicts and alcoholics. We can deny it and we can fight against it, but this is what happens. And that's why I'm doing these videos. You can change it. You can change it now. We'll read one more passage of scripture.
in the beginning the word already existed the word was with God and the word was God he existed in the beginning with God God created everything through him and nothing was created except through him the word gave life to everything that was created and his life brought light to everyone the light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it Jesus who is the true light gives light to everyone and he's come into the world for this is how God loved the world he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but to save the world through the Lord Jesus Christ you've got a choice you go by way of the darkness and the devil and you go down or you come out of the darkness and into the light and walk by the way of the Lord and say I've had enough and let his spirit fill you in the name of Jesus the Bible says everybody that believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life come into that life I'm Reverend Dr. Jason W. Morrison Theologist Gosford on the Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you for joining me. Stay strong and conquer. Bye for now.